so hello everyone welcome to this awesome video today we are going to make this custom cursor as you can see that and it have the all functionality that we can do with our default cursor so as you can see that we have all the functionality here as you can notice and also we have this click effect whenever i click in the window it will do this animation and that's what we are going to make today and also i am studying a 30 days 30 submits challenge where i am going to do a something or i am going to make anything for next 30 days and i will update this in the this github repo so i will put the link in the description for this repo if you want to check out this challenge and also you will get all the days project name and also anything about for the next all challenges whenever i will meet them so this will be fun and also this custom cursor video is a part of this 30 day 30 submits challenge so i also encourage you to take this kind of challenge this will help you to practice your html css or whatever you are learning through the challenge because as you can see that i will make 30 submits in uh, every day in next 30 days actually so it will actually boost up my html css and javascript skill also what you can do is you can do it with me whenever i will upload the video for this challenge in the youtube you can do it with me so that's how your html css javascript can be boost or you can practice with your own so do this kind of challenge i highly recommend this and let's start today's video actually So here as you can see that I'm in my Visual Studio code and here is my HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So first of all, let's get a layout here and in the body, let's get a section and uh, in here I will have a class of something like container and also let's have something like h1 and hello world, how are you? and that's it for the layout and end of the body before ending the body we will have a div for our custom cursor so let's have a div with a class of cursor and that's all what we need for our this custom cursor so let's have this div and we are done and also make sure that you have the script here which is at this one and also let's link our style sheet so done so let me open it with our live server so here it is uh, looking good fine so let's come here so in our style.css first of all let's remove all the padding and also say that i want the margin zero and also box sizing will be in border box that's it so as you can see so after that let's have some basic style so what I will have is for our section I will have say so for the section I will have something like min height of 100 vh and also I will have a background color which will be similar to black so let me copy the color for you so here is the color and also width will be 100% and display is flex and align items will be center and justify content will be center and also make sure that the color of the text will be the white so here is you can see that that's our section and that's it for the section and let's come to our cursor now so in the cursor div what i want is i want to make it position absolute and also say that left will be 0 and top will be 0 and also let's give it a background not background let's give it a border about 2 pixel solid and white make sure that you have a width for that so let's make a 30 pixel or height of 30 pixel also so here it is our cursor so I think 30 pixel is 
more so let's keep it 20 pixel so also make sure that you have a border radius to make it rounded so for 50 pixel will be good so that's our cursor i think we should oh we made mistake here this will be 2 pixel border not 20 pixel so that's why it is looking so much big so now it is fine or you can use 1 pixel it will be still fine so let me use 1.5 yeah good if you want you can increase 30 pixel width yeah fine for now fine it is so that's will be the cursor also we will customize it later so first of all let's get into the javascript so first of all in the javascript let's have a constant and grab this cursor so let's name it first so cursor and say that document dot query selector and we have a class in the cursor which is the cursor now we have cursor in our this constant so what i can say whenever i will move my mouse or this cursor inside our window i wanna run a function so let's do it so let's say that window dot add to listener so we are listening for the mouse move so mouse move this one and whenever this mouse move will happen we will run this function inside our javascript so what we will do inside this function so we will do something like here as you can see we have now left equals to zero and top equals to zero but so what i can do is i can change those value this left and top and make this cursor be move according to our this mouse cursor so here in our event we have a event parameter so we can pass it here as here as you can see and also let me console log it for you so that we can see what is the event actually so if i inspect now so console log as you can see that there are so many mouse movements is happening whenever i will this move or i will move my cursor inside my website window so if i open one of these as you can see we have so many things and if you notice that we have something like page x and page y and this is the value actually where our mouse is now in the window so now what i can do is i can grab those value so let's grab those value and console log it so let's say that e dot page x and also e dot page y so now we are console logging those page x and page y only so let me show you what i mean so as you can see that these are the value for the page x and for the page y so if i come to the top as you can see that the y value means the second one is now zero and if i come to the left as you can see that the x value is now zero so that's what we are going to do so we are going to put this x and y value in our this cursor so for that what i can do actually i can say that cursor dot style dot not like that dot left so for the left we have page x so i can say that the left value of the cursor will be the page x e dot page x and also the y value will be for our top that's it so now it should run so it is not moving with our cursor because we need to make the pixel here because so because in our css this top and left value counted on pixel so we need to make sure that we will add this pixel in the end of the parameter so that's looking good and as you can see that it's moving with our cursor and if i inspect my element here if you can notice that in our cursor div we have now left and top dynamically changed by our javascript if you notice those value so it is changing dynamically by our javascript whenever we are moving our cursor looking perfect as you can see but we have a problem the mouse is not center in our cursor div so if you can see it's not perfectly in center so for that in our style.css what i can do i can say that transform translate minus 50 percent and also minus 50 percent for the y value now it should be the center as you can see maybe you are thinking we are done with the custom cursor but we have a problem so let me show you in our html let's get another section 
and we have already a style for the section which is here as you can see we are adding another 100 vh means we are having this scroll bar here as you can see okay so the problem is you already noticed that so the problem is when i am scrolling as you can see that the cursor div is staying in the same place it is not moving with our cursor because in our javascript as you can see that so in our javascript what i am saying that whenever i will move this cursor inside our window only then i wanna change or i wanna get the location so but whenever i will scroll i am not changing the cursor that's why it is not updating the location so that's why the cursor div as you can see that it is staying in the same position that it was before but whenever i will move the cursor now it is changing the position or now we are getting the cursor position perfectly but whenever we are scrolling we are having this problem so how we can solve this problem so we have a easy fix for this so let me show you so let's create another event listener in our window so this one will be the for the scroll so whenever i will scroll inside the our window we will call this function or we will run this function so in this function what i will do actually i will update the location when i am scrolling so for that let me show you one thing so if i come here in our window and let's console log scroll y so in our javascript we have a scroll y as you can see so let me show you what is this scroll y so i am console logging this scroll y whenever i am scrolling in our window so let's open our console log here and let's remove the previous console log from here let me comment it out and that's our console log and whenever i will scroll as you can see that when i am scrolling we are having the number here as you can see how much we are scrolled from the top so in uh, if you can see we are now in the top and that's why we are getting zero but whenever i will scroll it's increasing the number so we have this scroll y in our javascript and we are gonna use this scroll y to get the location of our cursor and we'll update it so let me show you so let me copy this line from here where i am updating the top value for our div because when i will scroll only the value will change is the top so because whenever i will scroll the value will change according to our y-axis as you can see so that's why we need to update only the y value we don't need anything to do with the x value in our scroll so that's why we are just getting this top and paste it here and instead of this page x what i can do actually i can say that a scroll y sorry not a screen y scroll y this one and it should be okay so but if you can see that we have a problem whenever i am scrolling the cursor is now in the top if i console log that scroll y here once again scroll y and let me show you one thing so this scroll y value is now 160 and but whenever i will go to the zero means in the top it is now zero so it is saying only that how much we are scrolled from the top of the page it is not giving us the value which is as you can see we have the cursor and we have a gap between the cursor and the top it is not giving the value so we need to get the value from our previous even listener so how we can get the value so for that we can save a value inside our this cursor div so we can do it with our attribute so let me show you so cursor dot set attribute we will set an attribute inside our this cursor div so the attribute name will be the data mm, let me think a name something like from top yes and the value will be so what is the value will be so i want the value between this cursor and the div as you can see or you can say that between the cursor and the top of the window so we can get the value very easily we can say that cursor dot offset top 
and minus the scroll y. Scroll y. That's it. So I will explain what is this off the top in a minute. Before that, let me show you what it is doing. So here, as you can see that we have now a data dot from top, which is the value 199. So it will change its value whenever I will move this cursor. As you can see that now we have 227 value in the our data dot form. If you can see, let me zoom it. As you can see this one in our div of cursor, we have data from to 165. So whenever I will move the cursor inside the window, it will change its value. So it is the value between our cursor and the top of the window. As you can see that now our div of cursor is in the top of the window but our cursor is in our middle of the window so we have something gap and this gap is 208 so that's what our data from top is getting so what is this from offset top so offset top is so if you can see that in the screen we have the offset top which is as you can see this is the value from our page 0 to our cursor and we have a scroll y as you can see this is the value of a scroll y so what we are doing is we are subtracting this scroll y value from this big offset top now what we have is now we have the value which is the between our cursor and the top of the window so that's what we have now so it is getting much confusion because we have something like window and we have also something like page page means this whole page okay and window means what we are seeing in now so that's the window but the page is now this one this whole is the page so now what we have is we have the from top this data and in our scroll we will get this data so constant constant from top equals to so get so document or you can say that cursor cursor dot get attribute we have get attribute so that we can get the value from our attribute cursor attribute so the name of the attribute is the data dash from top so now we have the this now we have this from top and also if you can see that in the here this is the from top this is the one but if you can see that it is a string because we have this quotation we need to make it a number so for that what i can do actually i can wrap this whole thing into the parse int so it will parse it into the integer and we will get the number so now we have the value in our this constant and now what i can do actually so now what i can say that the top value will be the scroll y plus the from top plus pixel and if you can see it is working perfectly and whenever i will scroll it is not working so it is not working because we did a silly mistake it is here so we are making this mistake so that's why it is not working so if i do now as you can see that it is working whenever i will scroll this is the cursor div which is moving with our cursor and it is staying in the same position as you can see when i am scrolling so it is doing its job perfectly so let's do some customization in our custom cursor so let's commit in the standard css and let's make a after sort element of this cursor And where I will say that content will be nothing and something like position will be absolute and after that width will be 5 pixel and height will be 5 pixel and it will be from the left 50 percent also from the top 50 percent and make sure that it is having this transform of translate minus 50% and minus 
so basically we are making a dot in the center of this our cursor div so for that i will use background color of white and as you can see that we have this and also make sure that everything is okay we don't need anything and the last thing that i want i want to make it border radius 50 percent not 50 percent 50 pixel so that we are having this dot as you can see so now we have this dot looking good and also let's make an animation whenever i will click this inside our window so for that let's create another sort elements so cursor after before so this one will be the before so you can customize it as you want i am making something like a click effect for this so it will be everything for our also before and the change i want is i want to make the background color red so we can't see it because we have the after as you can see that's why we can't see it but if i something like a scale it transform so for the transform we are having this so let me copy this also here and beside that i will scale it three so now as you can see that we have it so i will animate these cursor before whenever i will click so how i will animate it so let's create an animation here so cursor not cursor so keyframes actually keyframes and the keyframe i want is click so i am just naming it you can name anything so in 0% it will be a basic animation so for 0% the opacity will be 1 and also transform will be so let me copy this transform here so for 0% of our animation the scale will be 1 as you can see and whenever i will go to the 100% of the animation what i will do actually i will opacity make opacity 0 and also I will make the transform a scale to the something like 3 3 will look good or 5 keep it 5 so let me just fix it here I'm making silly mistake today so many so let's call this animation in our before so let's say that whenever I will click in our window I will add a class in our cursor the class will be the click so let's say that the cursor will have a click so if the cursor will have this click class only then the before will have the animation so the animation will be something like one second is in out and this will be the forwards and mainly we need to give the name here so this is the name for our animation so the only thing we need to do now is we need to add this class with our javascript so let's say that whenever i'll click inside our window so window dot add event listener and whenever i will click inside the window i will run this function so here i will say the cursor dot class list dot add this click perfect so in our initial state of the cursor let's remove this line where i am saying that scale 3 so just make it comment now whenever i will click so as you can see that we are having an animation so if i zoom it as you can see that we are having this animation here but it is not doing again it is doing for the first time only because if you can see that here we have this click whenever i will click so that's we have the click class but it is not removing so that's why we don't have the second time animation here so let's remove it so how we can remove it so for that what i can do actually whenever i click i will check this click class so let's say that here let's check it so if our cursor dot class list dot contains if our cursor have this active class already what i want to do i want to remove the class this will be the same just we need to remove it and else we want to add it after removing the class let's also say that i want to redo the animation so for that what i need to do is first of all i need to trigger a dom reflow so we can say that poet cursor 
dot offset width and this will do a DOM reflow so this will after the DOM reflow we can do our thing which is we can activate our animation by adding the class so something like cursor dot class list dot contains or add sorry and it will be the click so let me recap you once again so here as you can see that when I am removing the class here in our second click what I'm doing is so let me comment it for you so DOM so triggering add DOM reflow so triggering add DOM reflow so after the DOM reflow we can add our class once again to add the animation so now what we have we have animation for the first click and also we have the animation for the second click looking good so if you can see that we have this click and it's doing its job perfect and if you want let's say that so and that's it as you can see that we have a nice animation here also and the lastly how we can hide our default cursor so for that in our universal selector what I can do actually I can say that cursor will be none so these will now remove the default cursor from our window as you can see and also we have a problem now we can't click anything because we are clicking the div so what I can do actually in our cursor means the cursor div I can say that pointer event none now this problem is fixed as you can see so it's looking good as you can see so let's say that I want to remove the border for our this cursor instead of this white or I don't want the border and also instead of this red let's make it white and also in our body if you can see that we have this scroll bar here so for that in our body let's say that overflow hidden only overflow X make sure about that so now as you can see that that's what we have if you want you can increase the dot size actually which is actually the after so it is we are having 5 pixel only so make it 20 pixel so much big big thing so let's make it 10 pixel so looking good not bad and also we have this animation and for the animation let's say that instead of one second we will have 0.5 second well, looking good perfect awesome we have now everything okay so that's it for this video i hope you learned something new and if you like this kind of video, please subscribe my channel. I upload these website related or web development related video. And I hope you will like those video also. So subscribe the channel and my name is Arfan and I will see you in the next video. Till then bye bye. Kodahafis.